Yo, what's going on guys? Today we'll be looking at the newest Dark SSR Kalulu. She is Gisela Chan, uh, the walking Gisela, whatever you want to call her really. She's our newest Dark SSR and she's, well, not in this picture. I think to change pose really quick. Also, anyone who uses a pose, uh, pose two, you're wrong. Pose one is the only pose that you should be using because he uses the fake weapon. You want to use the real Gisela, bro. Can't call her Gisela Chan. So, you, you, you probably see my party. So, you probably get an idea of what I'm going to be doing. But, um, we're looking at her today. She is the, yes, the character with Gisela. Everyone's favorite surprise ticket weapon of 2016 through 2017. It was so popular that they made a character for it. Um, hopefully we get Crimson Finger Chan and uh, <laughs> Durandal Chan too. <laughs> Maybe in the future. <laughs> Maybe. Now, she's definitely a pretty cool character. She's more of a skill-based character, which is kind of weird. Um, Dark generally doesn't have nukers in terms of skill-based characters, but they made her to be more of a skill-based nuker. Now, her Ogi is Stonebreaker. It deals dark damage, obviously, but every time you Ogi, she does activate Tally Ho, which is her skill too. It's a nuke. I'll talk more about it when we get there. Also, she gains a boost to her CA damage and CA damage cap if the foe already has the blind effect on. Keep in mind that it has to be applied before her Ogi, not after her Ogi. I know it sounds obvious, but you know, some people, it may not be so obvious. Skill one is Girl of Steel, substitute to the caster, meaning her, and she gets a 50% damage reduction. Do note that this is armor. It's not a phalanx or anything like that. So it does not stack with phalanx to get a 100% damage cut. You will still take damage with using her skill one so keep that in mind, very important. Skill two, her bread and butter skill, Tally Ho. It's a six hit dark damage to a single target, applies stackable defense down. Do note that this stackable defense down is only 30%. It's very important that units like Urius and Lily, they go to 40, while Kalulu only goes to 30. Also, she applies a three turn local blind. Very good because if you have some already blind on the opponent, this stacks because this one is local while the other one is not local. And her last skill, still alive, it gives her instant charge attack and resets the skill, uh, the, the skill cooldown for Tally Ho and Girl of Steel though it comes at the cost of 30 percent of her health do know if your health is below 30 you cannot activate this skill and now we're to her support skills her support skills are what make her a very good character so her first support skill is faded spear it's kind of similar to athena upon being targeted she gains one stack Every stack, she gains a higher damage cap, uh, going up by 10k each stack, capping at 5. And her last one is Reason to Live. Now, this one is really, really good as it gives a unique buff to Kalulu based on how low her HP is. It caps at around 45 attack and 75 defense. The defense is the most valuable part, as once she gets into red, she gets the ability to activate Tally Ho every turn, as long as she remains in red. So with the 75% defense, it does give her more survivability at that low health. Also, she has a lethal hit, so if she does take a hit that would kill her, a single hit, she does survive with one health. So pretty good, pretty good. She is a spear user, keep that in mind. They don't have a lot of spear users on dark, so it's kind of hard, um, but hopefully in the future, Zoe <clears throat> becomes spear. I, I really hope so. And if you're probably like, what, Zoe? Yes, this is 
already a spear Zoe in the game. So I would hope um, Dark Zoe gets spear proof. These are her EMPs. You definitely want to invest in a MIDI, debuff success rate, double attack, um, defense, defense, defense. You want to invest in defense because this character is already going to have a ton of damage. So you want her to live. Health and defense is that actually what you want to invest into. Critical hit, not that important. Because he's already going to be at low health. So she's going to be hitting rather hard. What you really want to do is invest in her survivability. So defense is more value here. I know it sounds weird, but defense is where you want to go. Anyways, let's get to a fight with her and see how she performs. Okay, so today we'll be taking on Apollo, everyone's favorite boss. I was going to do sub high level, but the reason I decided not to is because of the fact that one, it kind of dies faster than Apollo now, to be honest. When since they lower the health of it, it kind of dies faster. And two, because hey, everybody loves Apollo, right? Apollo best boss in the game. So we are going to be using there. Here. I did bring Forte, cause why not? Gotta, gotta use my, my dark characters. Didn't really need to hit that skill one, but I hit it anyway, cause why not? Now I'm actually not gonna use Zoe's skill one, turn one. Not Zoe, uh, Kalulu. Skill three. The reason I'm not using Kalulu skill three is because it's not really worth it, to be honest. You do want to eventually lower down her health, so. That worked out. Goodbye. Goodbye, Zoe. It was good while it lasted. Okay. I also go with the gift to the main hand, cause you know, gotta feel the love for the weapon. Though I obviously don't want to run gift to your main hand. You want to run something else. I just went with it for the, a little meme. You can see there that it, you do need to have. Um, you do need to have. I forgot. <laughs> you do need to have Kalulu at low health so that she can get her extra nuke at the end of each turn. It's kind of hard to have it, even with Zoe, because Zoe heals you up above 30 um, on a second hit. It's 15 per, per hit with Zoe. So even with Zoe, it's still kind of hard. That's why I waited to put her back in red. So right, right now, you can see she's back in red again, so... Staying in red is actually pretty hard. Even with her defense buff, it's not the easiest thing to get done. But the extra damage that returns is pretty nice. I'll tell you that. So yeah, it's popped out 1 million every turn. Pretty cool, actually. Uh, we go with defense down. Like that. That's good enough. Where's the peach multi attack? I so I took double trouble because Gisla doesn't give multi attack and Athena doesn't have like a ton of it. Okay. We're going to maybe use Anubis. Yeah, that works out. It hits really hard due to her passive. Probably not stronger than six, but he does hit hard. Every turn, too, to get that one million. Pretty nice. Two million, rather. I don't know if it's gonna kill or not. Go with this. I didn't see it. 
It has a death move, I believe. Hopefully it's like oh never mind, we went to the trigger. Oh well, we did more damage than I expected. Wait, did he just pick wait what? Well, hold up. Oh, it receives all allies attacks. Oh, that's godlike. <laughs> I thought it was one foe attack. It's all allies attack. So something like Vera. Something like Vera. I'm gonna have to edit that. <laughs> I was wrong. I was wrong. Wow, that's really good. I'm surprised. <laughs> I thought it was like, I thought it was like, you know, regular units like substitute. No, it's the AOE substitute. So that's really, really good. That's, that's better than I thought. <laughs> that's way better than I thought actually. So not bad, not bad. Anyways, that's Kalulu. Uh, I'm gonna try to do a run with her in Fa when I get a chance and get around to it. So, N knowing how that skill one help works uh, helps a lot. So, to so, so go well, to so go well. Uh, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.